What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Road to Glory, where the big spring update has just dropped. Now, we're going to go through this and have a little look at the stuff that is going on. There's some stuff that I don't personally really care about. Although, actually, let me know if you want to see a career mode. So, legendary CPU AI has been tweaked. Everton career mode? 86 new star heads, which I'm personally not particularly bothered about. And new gameplay animations, where I think they've added a new shot and a new clearance. But where this gets very interesting is adjusted playstyles. So we're going to take a quick look at them and give some brief thoughts, but we can't really tell until we go and try them out. However, there's one in particular that I'm very excited about. Now, let's go through it. Tiki Taka, normal Tiki Taka, has got lower accuracy and pass quality. What they seem to be doing with most of these is expanding the gap between the normal playstyle and the playstyle plus because they were too close together and some of the normal playstyles are too good. So, for example, pinged pass. So, normal ping pass is now got decreased accuracy, but ping pass plus is even better. Now, this is the one I'm very excited about because personally, I think ping pass plus is one of the best playstyles on this game and they're making it better. Sure, okay. Yes, we'll have our Lewis Dobbin with Ping Pass Plus. Yes, we'll have our Kimmich with Ping Pass Plus. Yes, we might be going and doing Rolfo now because she's got Ping Pass Plus. It's pretty mad, to be honest with you. Jockey, normal jockey, has got reduced speeds. That's okay. Brownfoid's got Jockey Plus now. We're going to come on to that. Press Proven. Again, the gap has been widened. So the normal one has got worse, but the plus one, like for Sour, has got better. Long Ball, both of them have been nerfed because Long Ball's pretty OP. Power Header has got worse. Dead Ball has got worse. Power Header Plus. Oh no, Power Header's got better. So they've actually brought them a little bit closer together. Power Header's got better, but Power Header Plus has got worse. Relentless and Relentless Plus, both been nerfed. Aerial Plus, nerfed. Power Shot and Power Shot Plus, nerfed. There's a lot of nerfs going on. And it seems like EA have given people loads more playstyles, multiple playstyle pluses, and then gone, oh crap, this is too good. And now they're winding it back again. Now, I have been saying this for years, and I'm going to say it again, because I'm going to keep saying it, and maybe I can bring it into fruition in the universe. I think, and I'm interested in your comments, and I'd actually love to have a discussion on this, maybe we'll have to do it on the Foot Weekly Pod and stuff like that. There's other things, like there's a new skill move, and they've changed trickster stuff, which we don't really care about, and AI, and squad battles, and whatever. Let's get into the road to glory. I think these, if you could pick one single thing to do, to Ultimate Team to improve as many facets of the game as possible. I think they should just give a blanket minus 10 to every single person's start and rating on this game. I don't know if I've mentioned this in a Road to Glory before. I'm going to go through it again, even if we have. Just make everyone lower rated to start with. Make Van Dyke 79. I mean, that's maybe a bit crazy. Make him 82 if you want. Do minus 7. Make Van Dyke 82. Remember Joe Gomez back in the day when he was super OP? Make that Van Dyke. And you might think, you can't have an 82 rated Van Dyke, Andy. That's obscene. Well, it doesn't matter because it's related to everyone else's ratings, isn't it? Wait, what the hell? Advanced filters loans. Oh my God, am I in heaven? Oh my God, I'm in heaven. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, Mbappe would be 84 instead of 91. And Haaland would be 84, and De Bruyne would be 84, and Putelas. And there's just so much more room to then give special cards without people maxing out, basically, their stats and their playstyles and stuff like that. It, it doesn't actually matter, really. Maybe apart from marketing, that what the players start off with, as long as the game's balanced. And having Van Dijk... This card's been out since the start of the game. Obviously, he has no chemistry. If I put him back in my team... He gets, with a shadow, almost close to. He doesn't actually have full chemistry because I've got Landon Donovan in. So if you put Timo Werner in, he gets basically max defending. 96 interceptions. That's just, in my opinion, that is stupid because there's nowhere to go with other Van Dyke special cards and it just makes balancing the game really, really difficult. So for me, just give everyone minus 10. Let us have stinky teams, even when it's a good player at the start of the game, and then promos might actually mean something and the power curve can be a lot slower as you go through the game. Because this team of the year Mbappe would only be maybe 90. And then you can make the team of the season 97. We've got to wait till May for that. And you wouldn't need to have 99 pace and 99 attacking position and 99 finishing. 
it is, in my opinion, it's just a bit silly. It's just a bit stupid and a bit too much too soon. And it seems like EA have kind of realized that a little bit with the play styles, which is where this discussion in my head come from. Because they've gone, oh shit, we've given these two play style pluses and they're really good. Best nerf them. There's no room for anything else. Well, yes, because you've released a sour card that has 90s and everything in January. That, what do you expect, you know? So they've gone a bit mental with the power gave, and I've said it for ages. I don't know if it'll ever happen. I very much doubt it because all of a sudden the cover star being 82 rated probably isn't very good for marketing. But for me, if there was one single thing that you could do to this game to make it better, it would help gameplay because there wouldn't be so many broken mechanics because you'd be running around with a team of 82 rated cards. It wouldn't matter that your Mbappe feels like Calvert Lewin or something like that because it's a new game, you know? You don't need Mbappe to feel like God at the start of the game. He just needs to feel like God compared to the players that you're playing against. So if he was like Darwin Nunes at the start, everyone would be fine because all of the defenders would be 10 rated lower results. So he'd still be good, but they just wouldn't have maxed out 99 stats. And then especially when you think about it, if we go to, we're getting very distracted because we've got lots of stuff to talk about and lots of things to do. If we go over to Mbappe, he's got quick step plus on 99 pace. So he's got 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. And this accelerates significantly faster. I don't know off the top of my head if there's somebody with 99 acceleration and not quick step plus. But theoretically, if there was, they would accelerate slower than Mbappe. So they have normal 99 acceleration because they just have 99 acceleration, which means this Mbappe with quick step plus, I don't know because EA don't tell you, but he has what? I I'm going to guess this Mbappe has 109 acceleration. Now you might think that that's mental, but mystery ball, it's a thing. Like it happens when you go into mystery ball and you get the shooting ball, it makes you shooting have 150. Now, as far as I know, chemistry styles can't take you beyond 99. But this must, otherwise it's completely pointless. Chemistry styles only boost stats. This must make him faster than somebody with 99. That's just, that's just logical, isn't it? You know, that's what the play style does. Why are we running around with cards that have got 109 and then maybe if you have normal quick step, you get 104 and a plus five instead of just making them all lower rated. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, lots to talk about because we haven't recorded the Rotary for a few days. I've got Foot Champs rewards again, and I have really not been enjoying playing Foot Champs. I'm going to be honest with you guys, and I'm very tempted. I'm going to see what's happening in the new season. But I think we're just going to completely change up the tactics, change up the team, probably just start running a lot more Everton players, to be honest with you, because I don't care enough about trying to get 18 wins, having already got 16 a couple of times. And I feel like I've got to the point with my gameplay now where if I sat here and sweated all of the games, I could probably get 16 most weeks. But it's just not really worth it because it takes so much fun away from it. So I think we're just going to rock Everton players and get some Evos in and try some new players out and stuff like that. But, saying that, one thing I do want to do before the new season drops is sell this Wayne Rooney. Now, I've got about a billion coins invested into fodder, and EA have released an entire promo based around SBCs and fodder, and fodder's gone down in price. I, I don't know what to say to that, to be honest with you. The maddest part is informs have gone up in price. So, I guess I'm somewhat making myself feel a little bit better by using the logic of, it's not my fault, people are stupid. <laughs> no, the reason for that is you can buy a gold team of the week for 40,000 coins is how much they cost. Alternately, you could just head over to the SBC section and get yourself a pick between three of them for 24k. I don't understand why the sensible investment, the thing to make coins, was buying informs when they were 30k. They were already more expensive than this player pick, and they've gone up in price more. Just buy my fodder, people, and do this SPC, please.
<laughs> I don't know what's going on. So, anyway. I've got a lot of coins invested in fodder, and we're going to have to hope that for birthday brings out some mad repeatable SBCs. There's a repeatable icon SBC out, and people just don't care enough about it because it's still got base cards in it, which is why I won't be doing it on the road to glory. Maybe for birthday is going to bring out some madness, so we're just going to hold the fodder for now. But one thing we also have is 1.1 million coins worth of Wayne Rooney. Now, I've enjoyed using this Wayne Rooney. He's a decent card. He's good fun. He played for Everton. But he's also, like, like I said, 1.1 mil. And usually what happens with the new season is a huge market crash. So I'm going to do what I'm hoping is the sensible thing here. And I'm just going to sell Rooney. And we can just try someone else. We should try someone different. Just run a different formation. Put Harrison back in. Maybe use Dobbin. Maybe get Janola finished off and use him. I don't know. But I've enjoyed using this Rooney. He plays sentiment for me. He's played 100 games. He's got 39 goals and 32 assists. He's good. I don't know if he's 1.2 million good, but he's good. And we're going to sell him on. We can always buy him back if he crashes in price. We can always buy it. Maybe Eto gets a foot birthday. Eto doesn't have a special card yet, and he played for Everton. Maybe we can use the coins for that. So I'm quite content with selling Rooney and basically just losing 5% tax and saying, thanks, Wayne, you've played 100 games for us. We'll probably buy you back at some point in the future anyway. So anyway, that's that. Next thing, we've got content to open, packs, foot chance rewards, and Evos to do and claim. But before we do that, it's Wednesday. We need to make sure we qualify for foot champs and actually finish qualies and end playoffs and say, yes, please put me in foot champs before the season ends. Otherwise, we'll have to do it again tomorrow. So let's go do that. Oh, actually, before we get in, I should show you what Evo we're doing. We have just activated Dobbin and popped him into the team instead of Rooney. So this is the one that gives ping pass plus which has been buffed. So this is looking good. We've got to play four games of them, I think, which is for Champs Collie, so that's nice. And we're going to rock 4-2-3-1. to so have two CDMs here, Claudio in the centre, Eusebio and Dobbin wide, and Timo Werner, who has now been upgraded to 91. He's getting there. I think he's going to go to all four. This guy's going to be so broken. He's already so broken. And we've also, I didn't cover this, claimed the upgrade on Jared Branthwaite. So he's got Jockey Plus. Because most of the Evos that are coming out now, you can put someone with a Playstyle Plus in anyway. So we've got all of them. He's good. He's played 655 games for us. More Evo talk to come. Let's jump into a game of Foot Champs Qualies. We are coming up against someone who's just started a road to glory. Bloody hell. All right. Should be a nice, comfortable win for Dobbin. What's this guy doing? <laughs> oh dear. Welcome to Foot Champs Qualifiers, my man. I feel a bit mean. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. How's a kanji just being bodied? I, I, we have serious goalkeeper problems on this road to glory. He's kicked it straight at him. This team of is quite good. This guy's defending isn't, so he's maybe stat padding a little bit. But he, he finishes them off. You can't, can't knock him there. What in God's name is going on? What is going on? How does this guy know how to move his goalie, but not how to switch player? <laughs> it's a bit pointless, this, game, this match. I'm going to be honest with you. It's nice to stat pad Dobbin, but what is, what's going on? Okay, it took 50 minutes for him to realise he probably wasn't going to win. <laughs> Lovely. Nice, okay, that's a game down for Dobbin. That's very good. One thing we also need to do is use up all of our red picks. Ultimate Team Champions Evos, as they're called now. We've got two normal ones and a pro. I'm in a bit of a pickle with these. and It's like the great red pick dilemma. 
My favourite player, as I'm sure you guys know, on this road to glory is, of course, Queen Claudia. She's absolutely unbelievable. However, she is a future stars. And that card looks very good anyway. But, and this is a big but, this is where Evos have started to annoy me a little bit. The Evos they're bringing out are for specific card types. Showdown Winner's Boost. I think we, did we talk about this in the last episode? You can upgrade a Kanji who is 90 rated with 90 defense and 90 physical, two play style pluses, 86 pace. He's better than Bramthwaite. And I can't upgrade Bramthwaite. And the reason for that is because it's based on a specific card type. Now there is people who are running around with Showdown McAllister's for example, here, where they're a Liverpool fan. So when Liverpool won, they used their red pick, their red Evo, on McAllister. The issue with that is it means he's no longer a showdown card and isn't eligible for this Evo. Now, this is looking quite far down the line, but I don't want to make Claudia Pina red and then her not be eligible to get an Evo for a Future Stars card that EA might bring out in a month or two. Because I absolutely love this card. It's my favorite card in the game. I don't want to make it and be disappointed and have Evo regret or user regret or whatever you want to call it if they bring out a card-specific Evo for her. So, there's a few different options that I've got. One of them, I think, and I'm going to do is this Kimmich. Now, I am taking the Twitch chat's word that this card will get upgraded, even if he's red. EA are not going to bring out an Evo for a road to the knock road to the final card at least before may i would guess when the promo expires and at that point i'm not too bothered also i think i'm just going to use bramthwaite because yes if an evo comes out that i will then use on him he will use the red design he will lose the red design sorry but until then we can run around with a red bramthwaite and I get, you get so many of them. They're not actually as special as I thought, these red picks. So, my one of my red pro is going to go. This is going to be so funny if EA tomorrow bring out a Evo that Jared Brown could have gone into. But my reds will have expired by them. So, we're going to get ourselves a red foot champs pro Jared Brown We need to play a game in order for him not to be stuck green like Cafu, and we need to do it within the next five hours. We also need to play another match here and then three more matches here. I wish you could do multiple Evos at once, especially when it's just the red picks, because we've got these two as up well, where we need to choose normal reds. Maybe Werner? No, he looks so terrible because they've put the blue glow onto his dynamic image instead of onto the fantasy card. I honestly might just let them expire. We've got Queen Selma. We could maybe do one on Queen Selma. We've talked about that for quite a while. I don't know, if I'm honest. I'd quite like a red Akanji, but I also don't want to use this Evo until all of the showdowns have come out because this showdown winner's boost has got another 13 days. So I assume you're just going to keep bringing them out. And I can't imagine there's going to be a better one than a Kanji that I'm going to be able to afford to do on my road to glory and is then going to get an upgrade. Maybe it's sensible to wait. We do also have, if I jump over to the store, from playing foot champs, another ultimate team champions pro that we need to use. And we've got some player picks as well. And I'm tempted to save some of the packs. I've just unlocked an 84 times 20 from the foot champs objective thing where you got the red picks from for doing the whole thing. I think I'm going to save that for foot birthday, but I'm going to open these player picks right now. Why not? We've got ourselves Erdegaard, good father, very nice. We've got ourselves not a good father, just 84. We'll take Galachi. And we've got ourselves a special card. Yay, an inform. That's good. They're like 40 bloody thousand coins. Yeah, so we can actually go to the store now and I can show you guys that we've got quite a lot of packs. I think I might save them for, I mean, some of them are bronze and silver from doing the daily golds. But we've got the 85 times two from Foot Champs Rewards. We've got the daily golds. We've got the campaign pack. We can open the campaign now because that's completely useless. But this 84 times 20, I think I'm going to save for... For birthday. Why not? Let's do the campaign back because that just gives the same thing regardless. It is a Taremi? Oh dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers, EA. I think what we're going to do is Red Pro because he starts in the team with the extra gold around him. Kimmich, because th I think that looks really good actually. With the dark kit, the black and pink kit, and then the red. 
he doesn't have a funny color grade to his dynamic image because of his card type either. And I'm pretty sure he's going to get the upgrades in here because it was the same with Bashanit. They fixed it. So I'm going to go for Kimmich. He's got Ping Pass Plus. That's just been upgraded. He's in the team. And we're going to need to make sure we play a game with him so he doesn't get stuck green like that. Because I think green looks quite good on the icon cards, but not so much on the normal ones. I mean, we've got two normal red ones as well. So I think... I'm going to give these to the Everton players that might make my team if we start shifting up the custom tactics and doing different stuff. So I'm going to go for a red Jack Harrison. And then for the final one, courtesy of Rebel Foot in the chat, being an absolute genius, we're going to finish Dobbin and then make him red. Good stuff. Let's get into another game of champs. Oh, baby, this is a step up from the last team. Red Eusebio, team of the year Ruben Diaz, Jarzinho, Matthias Hollett. Holy moly. All right. Where are you going, mate? That is actually such a terrible goal in the end. I mega brain baited him with the player lock. And then finessed it straight as goalie because he moved his keeper. And <laughs> then we just got a jammy rebound. But that's a good little mechanic. If you've been watching the Road to Glory and looking at the gameplay, thinking, Joe, I could. I've been using some player lock. How to take that to the next level, Andy? That is how. You can just completely bait people into running out of the way. And you just tear and play a lock off and then carry on your merry way. It's great. Oh, you're joking me, game. Oh, is that chip through ball got through? Oh my God, Lewis Dobbin, that is filthy, mate. I'm so glad that they fixed the shot cancelling. That was disgusting. Oh, the near post power shot plus is very, very good, actually. Beautiful. Another rage quit. Okay, part one for Dobbin, eligible to be claimed. One pace, one shooting, one physical, two dribbling, and four passing. Don't mind if I do. The issue with Dobbin as will always be the issue, unless EA bring out an Evo to fix it, is his reactions and composure. He also has 99 agility, but only 82 ball control, which is kind of mad. But he's good. Like his, his shooting's good. We could maybe take the marksman, I think I've got off him now, because his finishing and stuff is so high anyway. And maybe put something that really focuses on reactions and dribbling and ball control. Could be one to consider. He's real good. I also didn't show you guys. Oh my god, you can scroll down again. EA have done absolute wonders with this update. I finished Landon Donovan. So we can claim that. Tiki Taka Plus. 91 pace, 90 shooting, 88 dribbling, and 83 passing. It's a good little Evo. Okay, I've just gone ahead and activated Branthwaite to do the reds because the Dobbin Evo, you need to win three games and you need to get two assists. We'll try and do it, but I get to do the ones done in Foot Champs Qualies first because they're guaranteed to happen. You just have to play a game and then we can just go and play some squad battles to finish the Dolphin one off or make somebody rage quit in Div Rivals or something like that. However, I've got two active symbols after activating the Bramfweight one. Have I just found a new Evo glitch? I don't know. We're going to need to win a game to see whether it ticks up for both of them. Let's get into it. Who are we playing against then? Can we get a dub to see whether we found a new Evo glitch? Casillas, five at the back. Oh, baby. Okay. Do you know what? I, I can't hate it too much. It's absolutely ridiculous that he's just palmed the deflection straight back to him. But he then cancelled the shot to sit the goalie back down again. And scored. Fair play. I mean, you are playing five at the back. And it is foot champs quality. Get a life. But you are winning 2-0 at the same time. So, you know, what can, what can I say? All right. 2-1. Thank you, Queen Claudia. Casillas is 5 foot 4. Oh, the near post power shot. Go on, Timo. The comeback's on. Oh, good save in the 46 minute cheese from the Casillas. Close. I'm going to have another. No, that's half time. I'm going to be honest with you. I will cross my heart. 
hope to die and never tell a lie. If this wasn't for a video, I would probably just quit because people who play five at the back are so boring to play against. Oh, it's cold. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ice in the veins for new Teemo. Go on, Akanji! Stupid, boring five at the back players. That feels so much more than a win. 2-0 down against someone playing five at the back. I'll be honest with you. I did say I was going to play 4-2-3-1 in this video. We went 2-0 down very quickly with 4-2-3-1. I changed it to 4-3-2-1 and clutched. That is so satisfying. Now, there was no Dobbin Evo thing above his head in the game. So I don't think that's going to have counted for Dobbin. But what we have just done... No, it didn't. Okay. Is we've just got ourselves a Red Foot Champs Pro... Jared Bramthwaite, the man who's played the most games for our club, has got himself a playstyle plus because we claim that. He's got himself ridiculous stats, and he's now a Red Foot Champs Pro card as well. Class. I think that is where we're going to leave this episode. There's lots more stuff to do, but I don't want to go too crazy and just do all of it in one go. You know, we'll have some content over the next few days for you guys. I'm going to sell you some of my big packs for Foot Birthday as well, which is dropping. And we still need to test out the new Evo glitch, and there's still more Evos and stuff to do as well. So, more to come, but for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching.